There's another game we've got to talk about tonight. The 3A championship. Shelby going for two in a row at Burlington Williams tonight. And our Terry Mooney is there live by New Star 3. Terry, what's the situation? Okay, Paul, interesting. Almost a thousand people have paid from Shelby to drive up here and come up here in buses. And the players here tell me that there's going to be a couple of more thousand Shelby fans here. And looking at the stands, there already are more Shelby fans here than Burlington Williams fans. But either way, like you say, they're back in the championship game. They get a chance to defend. And one, I have two guys with me. One man in particular who will probably play a key role in this game tonight is their place kicker, Clint Gwaltney. He, of course, nominated to the Shrine Bowl team. He can't play tomorrow because he's playing tonight. But last Friday night in their win over West Caldwell in the Western 3A finals, Clint Galtney kicked three field goals, one on the deciding blow. And with me is the man they call the big leg. At least that's what I'm going to call you. All right, it may come down to you tonight. What are your thoughts? Well, I have faith in my snapper, Roger Hutchins, and my holder, Chad Holbrook, in my line. They do a tremendous job for me. And once the ball is at the t on the tee, all my, all my job is to swing my leg and watch it go through. Well, you make it look awfully easy. I saw you kick a 56-yarder in a game than a 50-yarder the other night against West Caldwell. Well, it's not as easy as it looks, and it's tremendously nerve-wracking when you get out there. But when it goes through, it gives you a great feeling and a tremendous amount of accomplishment. All right, best of luck to you tonight, and let's hope it doesn't come down to that, but if it is, I know you're prepared. Thank you. Okay. Also joining me is Dunsey Harper, talented running back who will basically carry a lot of the load tonight. Cedric Surratt, the, your fullback, is out with a broken ankle, suffered last Friday night. Your role tonight, a big one. I don't feel the whole load will be on me tonight. It'll be on the whole team. We, we play the other team. Maybe we can. What do you expect to see tonight playing against this team? From us? Yeah. Maybe a lot of base plays tonight from their own option plays and everything. Well, listen, best of luck to you, Dungey. And uh, as you say, we'll, we'll be back with our football Friday night report, a live remote here from Burlington Williams High School. Should be a great game, and I'm looking forward to shooting the highlights and sending them back to you. Okay, Perry Mooney reporting live via News Star 3 from Burlington Williams High, where Shelby takes on Burlington tonight. Well, big game tomorrow. I've already mentioned it. 51st Annual Shrine Bowl, 1.30 tomorrow at the stadium. Tickets $5, about 2,000 seats left, and of course, it goes for a great, great cause. By a streak of lightning named Anthony Barber. This is what happened the first time he carried the ball for Garner's Trojans. They routed Harding 45-20 to for the state 4A high school championship. But one area team did bring home the bacon tonight. Shelby took 3,000 fans and the making of a football dynasty to Burlington and won a 19 to nothing victory over Williams High. It is the second straight 3A championship for Shelby. Paul Cameron will have complete highlights, including a live News Star report from Burlington. That is fifth on the all-time high school list, and that's one better than Billy Sims, a pretty fair high school ball player, in fact, a pretty fair pro in his day with the Lions. All right, let's talk 3A titles. Shelby wins its second straight championship, beating Burlington Williams tonight, 19 to nothing. Let's take you up to Burlington. The Bulldogs fans were there in force. The force was with them as they had six busloads of fans from Shelby today. Burlington got the first break of the game. They drive down and go for the field goal. But you know something? In high school ball, you've got to connect in the foot category. And this young man, Clint, Clint Galtney, who could have been playing for the Shrine Bowl, kicks the field goal to make it 3 nothing. A punt is then blocked. Shelby's defense has done it all year. It is recovered deep in Bulldog territory. You know what happens next. Waltney, right? He kicks the field goal. It is 6 nothing. Now, that was the halftime score. Third quarter action. Theron George, the quarterback, rolling out, breaks a couple of tackles. Mm -hmm. George is gone, and Shelby wins 19-0. I kept running straight down the sideline, and I felt like well, nobody going to catch me. I felt somebody on my backside, but uh, I didn't let it get to him. I just kept striding. Stride indeed. In fact, George named the MVP. There goes Duncey Harper for another touchdown. 19 nothing. Let's see some of the Shelby fans here. You can add the 1987 title to the 3A jacket. Yeah, the Lions, they love what they put on the videotape tonight, folks. That was one speedy young man and a great one horse to run, just like Tommy Knotts called it, like a Southern Cal team of days of old. Student body left, student body right. You got to have the horse to run. Let's talk 3A football right now. The Shelby Golden Lions, 19 nothing winners over Burlington Williams. Let's go live via Newstar 3. Our Terry Mooney is standing by with all the highlights. Terry? 
Okay, Paul and Charlie, nice job, Charlie. I'm sorry to see uh, Harding lose, but uh, I got to tell you, I'm all smiles here. You've made me the Cleveland County Bureau this year, going over and shooting Shelby and Crest and Hunter Huss and, I mean, you know, Crest. But, uh, you know, I can still almost hear the echoes of the crowd, the Shelby crowd here, even though the stadium is empty. They were ecstatic tonight. They saw an excellent football game, excellent defense by the Shelby Lions as they win for the second year in a row, the 3A championship, and what I thought really was a very, very good football game. About 2,000 Shelby faithful made the trip up here to Burlington tonight, and they were not disappointed. Burlington Williams, seeking their second 3A title in two years, floundered early, missing this chip shot of a field goal. But Shelby didn't choke when it had its chance. Dependable Clint Gwaltney, 33-yarder, made it 3 to nothing. Biggest play of the first half. Dunsey Harper on the blocked punt of Williams. This sets up another Gwaltney field goal, 6 to nothing. Shelby leading at halftime. Third quarter, Theron George, quarterback for the Lions, the game's MVP. Watch him on the keeper around left end. Breaks three tackles, goes 42 yards. The Lions were roaring at that point, 12 to nothing. And I just kept running straight down the sideline, and I felt like wasn't nobody going to catch me. I felt somebody on my backside, but uh, I didn't let it get to him. I just kept striding. Fourth down, two yards to go. 18 seconds left, third quarter. Tim Rhodes right into your living room. Shelby on top, 19 to nothing. And they had them, 19 to nothing. Shelby, a state champion in the 3A division for the second year in a row. Determination, that's what it was. We had the right attitude, and we won the state. We're number one. That's all it is, baby. And baby, this Lions victory makes it a year that certainly was golden. Okay, now here's a good stat for you. Second game of the season, Shelby lost to Crest in overtime. Since that time, they have rolled off 13 straight wins. That's 13 weeks of good hard football. They finish up the season 14 and 1. Burlington Williams, a good effort for them. They finish the season 12 and 3. And I got to say one thing about the Shelby folks. All these great, great people that were up here tonight supporting their team, they made us really feel comfortable and uh, thanked us for coming, thanked us for bringing New Star up here and doing this report. And it's just like being back in Shelby in Cleveland County. I may just have to move there. Those <laughs> folks are really nice. <laughs> it's been fun doing Friday night football and covering Shelby and everybody included in high school football. All right, Terry. We may, uh, we may just uh, grant your wish. Who knows? We uh, thank you for the report, Terry Mooney. Turned out and forced it shall be high for a pep rally for the Golden Lions. They're looking for their second championship in a row as they are traveling to Burlington Williams. And the Lions survived the scare last week from West Caldwell when Clint Galtney, the kicker, hit a 50-yarder to win the game. So as you can tell, the schools are ready. The fans have traveled to Burlington from Shelby, and they're getting ready to pack into Memorial Stadium here tonight. It's a perfect night for high school football, considering it's the second Saturday of December. So we're expecting big crowds here tonight. We're going to have more on the we are playing Burlington Williams for the 3A showdown. Shelby trying to make it two in a row. Who do they depend on? Number 12, you like him. That's Jerome George, their quarterback. He can do so many things for you. Also, Duncey Harper. Now, if Duncey doesn't beat you, and if the Rome doesn't beat you, there's a gentleman named Clint Gwaltney. Remember the 50-yard boot that came last week in the semis? They tell me in practice he kicks him 60 and 65 yards. Holy smoke. Well, Dennis Ryan Bowe will sneak you in somehow, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you, that turf is still warm after sure. what you did out there tonight. And Burlington tonight, the Shelby Golden Lions were looking for their second straight state 3A title. Gary Cole tells all you Shelby Lion fans the happy story. This was a game that on paper appeared dead even, except in one key area, the kicking game. And when Shelby's Clint Gwaltney connected from 28 yards out, the Golden Lions had a 3-0 second quarter lead. Later in the quarter, Williams sets up to punt. The snap is fumbled, and the kick is blocked by Duncy Harper. Shelby recovers to the 15, setting up another Gwaltney field goal. Meanwhile, Williams would miss two short field goals. And at the half, the Golden Lions led 6-0. The Lions then threatened early in the third with the option from quarterback Jerome George to Tony Mooney is fumbled and recovered by Williams at the 10. Next series, though, George will take this one himself, break five tackles and take off on a 50-yard touchdown run. Oh, I just got down at the side. I got hit. I kind of bounced off, and I just I felt him on the back side of him, but they weren't going to catch me. Late in the third, the Lions have a fourth and one at the 12, and Tim Rhodes gets it all. I was just really trying to uh, break the break the plane and get a, a couple yards so you know to get the first down Yay! but um i got through and um one of them tried to arm tackle me i was expecting a hard hit 
and um, he, he arm tackled me, and, and um, I just went off to the race. Final score, 19 to nothing, as Shelby becomes just the eighth team in state history to win back-to-back -back championships. In Burlington, Gary Cole, WSOC, Channel 9 Sports. And they're dancing in the streets in Shelby tonight. There's the final. Flash it up there again, 19 to nothing. The North Carolina 2A championship decided tonight, and Whiteville was a winner over Thomasville. They beat